Hello everyone, welcome back. I hope you had gone through the previous sessions of uh, Selling Framework from part 1 to part 5. In today's video, we are going to discuss about how to use dynamic data inside the page object library. This session has got some continuity with the previous sessions. Don't worry, if you had not watched the previous videos, let's have a quick uh, recap about the uh, method library, object library and the page factory. In the left pen you could see here right so this is the method library which i was talking about this contains all the reusable methods enter user name click continue button enter password so these are all the methods that we are using inside our test class let's move on to object library so these are all the uh, web elements of a page so basically the object library contains all the web elements so this is about that and if you could see here uh, page method library it has the uh, page factory with the initialization init elements. So this particular method is used to initialize all the web elements. This is all about uh, page uh, method library. Let's move on to the previous file part five. Let me close all this. Okay. Let me go to this particular uh, line, the dynamic data, which I was talking about, right? See issue summary driver dot find element by dot x path right. So this takes a data dot git. This uh, value comes from a test data file. I'll show you. Uh, issue summary is a column right. This contains this particular uh, uh, bug values. We are trying to fetch the issue summary from the test data file. So that has been passed here. Data dot uh, get issue summary right. Uh, in the previous lines right. Uh, we had written uh, method libraries page method library create issue page uh, create global button issue enter issue summary uh, click create issue button but for this particular line alone we have not written any uh, method libraries so in today's video what we'll do we'll replace this particular line with uh, page uh, method library we'll try to wrap this particular line inside the page method library okay let me copy this uh, line i'll show you let, let me put it inside the paint so that uh, it helps us to visualize better. Okay. okay. This is the previous file, part by session previous file. Okay. Now let me open up the uh, new file which I created today. This one. Okay. This file, uh, create issue dynamic value test file. Right. Let me get into this particular line which I changed. Okay, let me expand it more so that it will have a clear picture on it. Now we have got this two things, right? So this is the difference. Here we have written the driver dot find element. Now we are trying to replace this with the method library. We have written the method library that are being placed inside this asset dot asset equals. Okay. So this is how the implementation begins. I'll show you the difference also. Okay, we'll get a clarity. So this is the driver or find element. Here, if you could see, this is the method, right? Okay, let's move on to this particular uh, method itself. Okay, now I'm I'm trying to jump into this uh, get tissue summary text. Okay, this is uh, the method which are being written inside this page method library create issue page okay and it is returning the web element of a particular text so that uh, that is done with the help of object library right so we have written so many methods here this is one of the method which is used to fetch the uh, particular text of a field okay let's move into this particular uh, object library issue summary text okay See, uh, this is an object library contains all the page web page elements. Here, uh, we had used uh, at find by public web element username text, something like this, uh, name, xpath, id, css, something like this, right? But for a dynamic value reference, we had used both parent and the child. Okay, if you have defined this particular line, parent web element, this defines all elements of a page with this what find by and we have created a public web element issue summary text using the parent element we are trying to fetch this particular text this is how the implementation done 
now let me move on to the other test as well okay verify issues reported by right so here also we are trying to validate a issue summary text on this particular report at my uh, screen okay here also we are uh, we have used uh, you could see here we are using page method library object and we are uh, invoking this method right so this helps to invoke this particular method okay similarly we had used the same approach inside the search issue or dynamic value test also here i would have used uh, page method library create issue page dot get issue summary text okay so this comes from from a page method library uh, create issue page class let me show you the uh, object uh, reference also here let me go to the top of the class uh, page method library create issue page right so i have created an instance for this particular class so that whatever methods are being used inside this particular class can be invoked via this object this create issue page object okay that is what uh, we have done here we are trying to get that particular text and we are uh, performing the assertion okay so by this way we are implementing the uh, inheritance concepts throughout our framework surname framework Okay, let's move on to the test execution. Uh, I'll show you. Let me trigger. So the left pane, the you could see the test reports, right? That folder is empty. Now let's trigger the test root dot XML, which will trigger the test execution. It has now the test execution is started. It is trying to open up the Atlassian dot com page, and it is entering the email and the password. Since it has some bug, it is going to enter two times username and this uh, email ID and password. It is now entering into our uh, Atlassian page uh, where it is uh, going to click the QA automation project, which I uh, created earlier. Now it, uh, it had moved on to issues page and it is going to create two bugs. Once the bugs are created, it is going to validate on the uh, reported by me page as well as uh, search issue page. I think our uh, test execution is done. We could see here uh, all the tests have been passed here. No failures. Let me refresh the test reports. Okay, got the report. Let me open up uh, using Chrome HTML web document. Okay, so this is the report we got. All the tests are passed here. So this is how the client expects a test report. The fancy customizable uh, report. Okay, in today's sessions, we have learned how to use uh, dynamic data inside the PH object library. Uh, I hope you like this session. So thank you so much for watching the video. See you guys in the next session. That will be a great session for uh, QA as well as uh, development folks. Let's see. Take care. Bye-bye.